guys. So it was another horrible, horrible night. Yeah. Um, not much sleep again. We had to call um, hospice again last night. <sighs> He's having really, really bad problems exhaling now. And uh, his lungs are, his ribs are hurting him really, really bad. Um, the massagers that we've gotten are not doing anything for him any longer. Um, the handheld massager that we use on him seems to be helping him um, more than the pad that we got him. Um, but neither one is really doing the job at this point that he needs to have done. Um, oxygen is not really cutting it. Um, his oxygen tank that he has is up to the highest level. Um, they can bring him a bigger tank, but to be honest with you, I don't think oxygen is going to, it, it, the oxygen is not the issue. Um, he doesn't feel like he's not, not getting enough oxygen. Um, he can't seem to exhale properly. Uh, I did do a little bit more reading on osteosarcoma and uh, lung cancer does come with osteosarcoma. So a lot of patients that have osteosarcoma end up with lung cancer. Um, one of the things that hospice did tell us is that patients in my father's condition do not like to sleep at night. They're afraid that if they go to sleep that they're not going to wake up. So that could be why we, he is up all night. Um, so I am going to be changing my schedule up somewhat and I'm going to sleep as much as possible during the day. Um, it's just too much um, on me not getting any sleep and it's getting harder and harder um, to function. Also, it's very um, heartbreaking um, to some of you this may sound totally cruel, to some of you this may sound totally insane, to some of you it may sound totally um, compassionate, but Laying here, watching him slowly deteriorate in front of your eyes, it's hard. It's really, really hard. At least with Bootsy, I was able to give her that peace, that last act of love, and make all her pain and suffering go away. With human beings, you don't have that option. And you sometimes wonder if going quick in a, a tragic accident is isn't better than this. Or being able to make that decision like you do with an animal, like when you do with your pets. And not be able to do that for your family member. And having to sit here and watch him suffer day in and day out and not knowing when that 
time is you're going to walk into that room and it's going to be the last time. It's hard. It's really hard. Sorry to start the day off with such a bummer, guys, but this is the reality of it. The good, the bad, the ugly. And uh, all of you that have been following us for some time now and following the lone wolf knew that this point was going to be coming. Just glad I have you all to lean on. Glad I have you all for the support and the thoughts and prayers. I love you all. Thank Good you. afternoon, everybody. And I've decided I'm going to try and tackle this. This is Megan stuff that we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for. And I think I'm going to put some of it into storage. Some of it, uh, find other places for it. My well, mom's here today. I can't find my squeegee. I pulled it out of the car. Oh, you brought it out already? I think we did. So it's a really pretty day today. Got your fluffy clouds. My mom decided to bring her car over to wash it. Found your squeegee. Oh, what's it? Uh, I, it was underneath the tarp. I had put the tarp up just in case oh. the didn't want to get the okay. band equipment wet. So. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to see what I can do inside as far as the living room because we need to clear that. And uh, I got, come on, buddy. I got um, Bootsy Urn today, and I should open it up, take a look at it. Chihuahua wrestling. And Angel is pinned. I'm going to turn this on in a minute. Little Romeo, keep her down. So I put together a boom box for Boomer, of course. And what does he do? He tears up one of the uh, boxes that belongs to Megan. I think it's because it's full of stuff and it doesn't move. So she, he can really dig into it. Right, buddy? So, all right. So let me see. And I'm going to open the box. So this is the urn that uh, Bootsy is going to uh, end up in. So this will be Val's first look at it when she sees the vlog today. But uh, yeah, it's really nice. I like it. And uh, Boomer wants to be in the shot as usual. Don't you? Don't you? Hello, everybody. Guess what? It's only... 45 more minutes until Ride comes on. That's right, the new Norman Reedus show. Guess who's going to be watching that? This girl right here. That's right. Hopefully Pa will stay asleep, or if, he stay, if he's awake, he'll watch it with me. But it's on at 10 o'clock. Norman Reedus on motorcycles. Yes! can't wait! Hey. Alright guys, so I've started doing the uh, uh, dubbing from uh, VCR to DVD on uh, this concert. That's uh, Zoltan Rosnier, the director at the time. 
and this is the first time I've used this dubbing machine. It's a it's a Magnavox. It's it's something you could probably just pick up at uh, um, Walmart. And I thought it was just going to be easy. I'd stick the tape in one side and and uh, DVD on the other side and and just hit record. But it was actually complicated, and I had to actually go online and look it up, on, find a YouTube tutorial on how to do it. So, because I don't have the instructions to it anymore. So I got that going. The next step is going to be trying to get it from the DVD to the computer. And I won't be able to do that until I can move some stuff off the computer because it's full. Yeah, I filled an entire terabyte. And uh, actually two terabytes so far. And so I bought another um, uh, drive. So guys, I just finished watching Ride with Norman Reedus and I found it very, very interesting. Could be biased though. You never know with me because of how much I love my man. But I thought it was a pretty good show. Um, very interesting. A lot of beautiful scenery and uh, yeah. I will watch it again next week. But anyway, it's time for me to call it a night. Uh, pa is sleeping right now. Yay. So I am going to go in and upload these clips for Kevin so he can put the vlog together. And then I am going to go to sleep. Let's just hope Pa stays asleep. Anyway, if you enjoyed everything that you saw, please give us a thumbs up, share, comment, um, subscribe, all that happy crappy stuff, and we'll see you all tomorrow.